discussing about micro teaching this is a topic presently for mid class semester 4 educational technology subject unit 2 and c part though this is a very important topic for all the pupil teachers at any stage they are it will help them to improve their teaching skills so firstly we will uh, basically try to understand what is micro teaching as the name implies a micro means something which is very small uh, the way we use the term microeconomics and macroeconomics macroeconomics means economics for the whole economy and micro when we talk about the economics of individual person now when i that means that is the difference micro is small and ma macro is big now when i talk about micro teaching we differentiate it from normal teaching if i take normal teaching that is teaching being carried out in a school in a normal 40 minutes classroom that would be macro teaching uh, like the class size would be around 40 to 50 students at a time and the time of the class would be 40 minutes or something and a, a teacher would be teaching one complete topic which could include many concepts at a time and she would be using many skills now the last word i said skills uh, skills of teaching is the key word for micro teaching now for example let me take a, one example and things would be clearer to you when a teacher enters the classrooms see she begins her lesson by introducing uh, the lesson like for example she says dear students we had studied this topic you know pre the previous day and today we are going to continue the topic or we are going to start something new so basically she tries to link her previous teaching or for that matter previous knowledge of the students with the new lesson and so this is the skill of introducing the lesson how the teacher introduces the lesson now while uh, she starts the lesson she asks some questions and she would be asking questions during the lesson also so the skill of questioning is also involved then she writes on the blackboard skill of blackboard writing is there she explains somewhere so that is skill of explanation when the students answer her questions she reinforces their behavior that is skill of reinforcement she might use an audio visual aid so that is skill of using audio visual aid she will give her more illustrations to her teaching by using examples so that is skill of illustrating with examples and so on so numerous skills are involved when the normal teaching or i can say macro teaching is going on so uh, that makes the whole teaching process a very complex one so what we want we want that the pupil teachers or uh, the teachers who are you know learning to teach or even for the teachers who are in service we want them to make the teaching more perfect and effective and so we uh, 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 you know divide the complexities of a normal classroom into simpler parts and we practice and what do we do in the micro teaching we scale down the normal teaching scale down in class size and class time that is micro teaching so if normal teaching is macro teaching micro teaching is a scaled down teaching encounter and another important thing is it is a teacher training technique it is not a teaching technique that means we will use it for training the teachers and not for teaching the students so uh, we scale down teaching like for example taking a class of uh, just 5 to 10 minutes instead of 40 minutes and taking one skill at a time we will ju uh, just take one skill for example we take skill of introducing a lesson and we practice just one skill at a time and then we reduce the class size as well instead of having 40 50 students in the class we'll have just 5 to 10 students in the class and the teacher will only teach one concept so four things one concept one skill and a lesser number of students and less a uh, lesser number of time so the duration of the time is also reduced so this is scaling down the teaching encounter and this is basically done to train the teacher trainees for more effective teaching now um, basically micro teaching it started uh, with the efforts of dwight ellen in 1963 at stanford university usa and this uh, uh, technique was adopted in india in 1967 by dd tiwari so that is a brief historical perspective or historical uh, background of micro teaching now if we go on defining uh, basically if i take ellen and uh, rian's definition 
uh, it says micro teaching is a scaled down teaching encounter in class size and class time and it is a system of controlled practice that makes it possible to concentrate on specific teaching behavior and to practice teaching under controlled conditions now basically we will set up a laboratory it is doing a laboratory work that is controlled conditions like for example in science experiments we control the temperature and pressure and make things to react similarly in micro teaching we have a, a laboratory setup uh, in which we have controlled the class size the time then uh, you know taking one skill and one concept and at the same time we are observing the lesson the micro lesson and we are recording it in that sense it is practice in controlled conditions now uh, such a skill uh, micro teaching method it has a certain characteristics uh basically it is done with the real students though it is not a real teaching one characteristic second it is scaled down i told you in class size class time taking one skill one concept and it is a technique to train individual pupil teacher at a time so it was it is an individualized device it helps in giving feedback to the pupil teachers now after the lesson is over the pupil teachers get a feedback from five sources which we will discuss later on and they are able to improve their lesson and uh, this uh, technique it practices just one teaching skill at a time and there are some assumptions on which micro teaching is based now these assumptions are that actually number 1 teaching is a complex activity the as i explained earlier teaching the normal teaching the macro teaching it is a complex activity the second assumption is it can be broken down into parts and these these broken down parts are called components and further we name them as micro skills now these skills they can be practiced one by one to attain mastery these mastered teaching skills can now be integrated again to form normal teaching and this normal teaching can now be taken over to the classroom to teach in a more effective way to the uh, students so these are a few assumptions on which micro teaching is based okay now we discuss about the cycle of micro teaching or the procedure how micro teaching is carried about now micro teaching if i have to show it in a cyclical form it is basically plan teach feedback or discuss then replan reteach and refeedback till a particular skill under practice is uh, you know taken to the mastery level so how the procedure starts is uh, we in, we invite some expert on micro teaching or it could be some teacher educator itself and he would define the skill which has to be mastered for example if we have decided to practice skill of introducing then skill, skill of introducing the lesson would be defined by the expert then the expert would demonstrate that skill that how it has to be actually practiced in 5 to 10 minutes then uh, uh, a lesson plan will be prepared by all the pupil teachers on the basis of the observation they have made then they will teach that lesson uh now this teaching again will be uh, carried out in the presence of so many uh, sources of feedback like a teacher educator or the expert would be noting down the observations even the classmates can note down the observations and students are there to give a feedback to the pupil teacher who is teaching and we have a video uh, recording or cctv is also sufficient for it so all these sources of feedback will give feedback to the pupil teacher and in the light of the feedback she will replan her lesson reteach and refeedback this cycle will continue till all the errors or all the uh, weaknesses in the lesson have been removed and one particular skill uh, under practice has been mastered now this cycle would be repeated for all the important skills till the pupil teacher she masters all the important skills this cycle will continue for each every skill and the pupil teacher can now teach in a better way by integrating the practiced or mastered skills so this is the cycle of micro teaching now we will discuss about the uh, merits and the limitations of this technique obviously uh the strengths of this technique is that they would it would help to modify teacher behavior it will improve the teaching behavior of the pupil teacher on the in service teacher 
uh, and it will give them knowledge about all the important skills which are very vital in a classroom and they will uh, this technique would also develop her skills and improve her teaching efficiency um this would uh, this would this is an individualized technique i told you one pupil teacher will be practicing practicing a skill at a time so uh, the added advantage is that every pupil teacher will get her feedback and she can improve accordingly so this is an individualized technique and it improves the pupil teacher very efficiently uh but there are certain you know limitations to this technique also it becomes a little costly you know arranging uh, for all the recordings and arranging for the experts and it is costly in terms of time also you require uh, you know a lot of adjustment in the timetable to carry out this technique in in a normal teacher education college or for that matter if we are talking about in service teachers in the school timetable uh this would disturb the timetable of course and um, sometimes what is observed is once the uh, the teachers have practiced the skills they find it difficult to integrate these skills so um still not talking about the limitations this is a very useful technique to impart teacher training to the pupil teachers hence uh, by and large it is always talked about and discussed in teacher education uh, in all the colleges wherever the teacher education is going on micro teaching is an inseparable part of the curriculum thank you